Welcome guys, welcome to building a shipping container DIY style. This is part one of many. I'm sure you guys would like to follow along, see what we're doing here. We're building a school. This is the first of many containers that we're going to be dropping on this site. And basically you know, building and uh, uh, developing a project that started from a design. We've made our first cuts, as you can see. We'll run you through all the processes that got us to this stage. If you like this type of content, you know, subscribe, whatever, like, yeah. We're just gonna be putting all this stuff out there for free so that, you know, people can basically see, you know, what a container offers versus, you know, a typical house, a typical building, and then see whether this type of construction is for you because, you know, there is various types of ways to build. The idea here is that we, de we deploy as quickly as possible. In view of uh, the type of market that we're in, most of the things that we buy are influenced by by outside forces like foreign exchange and the higher the foreign exchange goes versus you know, the dollar goes versus the naira then you know there's a bit of a problem when it comes to price of goods so if you're building for a longer period of time then there is a big chance that you miss your budget or you have a budget overrun so like i said subscribe like and uh roll the tape I'm um, the architect here on Scene Spaces. We designed this structure you see here. It's the first of seven containers coming into the site. We're going to be having a vocational school here. So what we've done so far, we dropped the first container, which is supposed to be the kitchen, the break room, and the toilet spaces for who we're going to be having here. So we did this based on the design that was, that was dropped before we started this whole project. It's easier to go by a design so as you, you know what you're going for. As a con this is steel, you see that once you cut it, you can't go back to readjust. It's one, it's one, you have one shot at this. So you make a mistake and that's it. So that's why it is essential that you have a design that you walk by, which is what we have in our hand here. So we hope you guys enjoy watching us grow this into what we have designed it to be. I'm sure somewhere along the line, you're going to see the design as we intend it to be when it's finished. So I'm sure we're going to play that for you. But in the meantime, this is all we have here. So stay tuned to us. This is the first part of what we're bringing to you. So we hope you enjoy. design that we have right here the idea is that you have a design you're going for you know what the size of doors are going to be you know what the size of windows are going to be before you actually start now when we're making cuts one thing to know is that you make your cuts from the highs to the highs you don't make a cut from a low to a high you make because the container is corrugated so that corrugated gives you a higher level and a lower level so one thing to know is that once you're making a cut for a window for a door so that you don't have a misalignment of your windows and doors, you make sure that you cut the container on the high side and make sure that whatever measurements that you have end up also on the high side. This is very, very important. Come inside container number one. So this container is divided into three major parts. Where you're standing, where we're standing right now is the kitchen. You can see the window, this door indicating the entrance to the kitchen. This is going to be blocked away from the rest of the space. Like I said, three major parts, the kitchen, the break room, 
and restrooms. So moving further, this is the kitchen. So we progress into where this, I right hear, the break room here. Yeah, and this is the entrance to the break room. Like I said, it's going to be demarcated here, isolating this space from this space. We made sure not to put the kitchen close to the toilet because they don't go together. So what we have here separating the restrooms from the kitchen is the break room. Here you come in, you eat, you get stuff from the kitchenette, you come here, you eat, you relax while, you know, things, production goes out outdoors. Then we progress. Also here it's going to be demarcated, separating the break room from what we have left here, which are the restrooms. We have two toilet spaces and one bathroom. So we're going to have one here with the entrance here. This demarcated from here. We have another space here, which is going to be another toilet demarcated here and another one here which gives us the three major spaces we have here. Like I said, the kitchen, the break room, the restroom. So, yeah. Come with me. So as we go, this is our break room area. This, this is the window for our break room area. This is the door for our break room area. And then our kitchen, based on our plan, everything has been cut based on pre-planned dimensions that have now been you know marked out the unit and then ensured that our cuts are made to specifications we also have to take account that frames are going to be added into this so when making when making cuts account for those frames also so that you know whatever doors and windows you've planned for this will fit into place okay so that wraps up the part one of this series we're going to be showing you how to build with the container using this as our first case study, which is going to be a school, a vocation school for Thai and Dai. So we hope you join us on this journey of ours and we hope you enjoy it every bit of the way because we are and this is what we do, same spaces. Thanks for watching.